Maybe this is something that I missed, but I was truly mind blown looking at this feature from LLMs. This works completely fine with GPT-4 or ChatGPT and also with Google Bard. So what is this? So if you are a non-English speaker, so you know for sure that you have your own uh, letters with which you represent your language. But sometimes what people do is instead of using uh, that particular letter alphabets of your own language, you just voice it, but write it in English. For example, if you are a Hindi speaker, you would write something like this, Manzil Nai Hai. So then that is basically Hindi, but you write it in English. And if you are a Tamil speaker like me, then you would say Unga Vitle Na Sapad. So basically you said, what is the food in your home? Like what, what are you going to eat? Something like that. But instead of saying it in Tamil, you just sounded Tamil, but you still wrote English. This is a very common thing in India where English is not the first language. What surprised me is that chat GPT can translate this to English without even me having to give a reference to what language this is. I'm truly mind blown. Let me show you the demo. So I said, can you translate this to English? I said, Unga Vitle in the Sapadu. So it translated the, it said Tamil phrase, Unga Vitle in the Sapadu translates to what food is there at your home in English. Okay, that's good. I wanted to try something else. I said, okay, translate this Unga Koranda Saptrucha. So this is, I'm asking, have like, has your kid eaten? Etna wise agad. So that means what is the age? So it again found out this is Tamil and translates it to is your child eating? Not very exactly, but okay. How old is she, he or she? Then I tried a different language. I said, okay, maybe uh, they have got like a lot of corpus from Tamil. So let me try English, Hindi. So I said, Mena aaj me Hindi hi. So that means like I uh, put me Hindi for me and I applied me Hindi today. Wow, amazing. It, it manages to figure out that this is Hindi phrase. And then, you know, I just said something else. Bache bahar khel rahe hai, barish mein. That means like kids are playing outside while it is raining. And it manages to say that the kids, the children are playing outside while it is raining. I'm stunned. I'm completely surprised that this is a thing. Like I've never seen a translation system, at least probably my due to my limited knowledge. I've never seen a translation system that can take a transliteration and translate it. This is something that a lot of people have been asking me, but I've never seen this in life. Maybe this is a common thing. If you know that this is a feature that exists everywhere, please let me know in the comment section. I would definitely love to try out more tools, but the fact that this exists is quite amazing. And in fact, I tried with longer Hindi sentences and it manages to give me, I tried with sentences that are not proper Hindi, like uh, not commonly used, but still it manages to figure out. And it's not just um, chat GPT. Even Google Bard is good at it. In fact, for that matter, I went to a website and I took a screenshot of a story that they've got there, a story or something like I didn't completely understand this. I sent it to Google Bard. I'm just telling it to Google Bard and saying, what is in this photo? And Google Bard managed to, of course, do OCR and it also manages to read the entire thing. I'm not 100% sure if it is, you know, everything is right because I don't understand the language. But what it manages to do is it knows, first of all, this text is not just English. Like it didn't think that I'm asking it to do it in English. So all I said is like, what is in the picture? It understands that this is Hindi. It translates it in Hindi and it gives me that uh, detail in English. It, it didn't do line by line. I can see like, you know, 92.7 big FM is not there, but still it gives me the context that is quite amazing. So I want to do a live demo right now while you're watching this. So I'm going to go to chat GPT. In fact, for you to believe, I'm going to go to the Google translate. I'm going to say something like I'm going to completely say some random thing. So which I would of course say, I'm going to say something completely random. Why is it always raining in Bangalore? This is super strange. It's hot sometimes and cold, just like a soup. That's it. It's a long sentence. I'm not sure whether it will work, but I want to try. So I'm going to copy the, the transliteration. I'm not copying the Hindi text. I'm copying the transliteration that is technically in English. Like the alphabets are English, but when you sound it, it is going to sound like Hindi. I'm going to go back to chat GPT. I'm going to say translate this. I'm just simply sending this. And as you can see, you know what I have given and we can here see it says I'm completely randomly saying something. Why does it always rain in Bangalore? This is very strange. It is sometimes hot and sometimes cold, just like soup. This 
is completely unbelievable. How is it possible that a large language model learn transliteration and manages to translate for completely random text that is as close as the source of the text? As you can see here, it is the closest, even just like soup is there. Like I type just like soup, it is there. And this is quite mind blowing. So now I wanted to do slightly extra. I was like, okay, fine. Hindi is maybe, you know, um, again, like you've got like a large corpus or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go translate into a different language. Again, I'm going to do it with Indian language because it's uh, slightly, I have understanding of the context. I'm going to se select Malayalam, which is maybe not as widely spoken as uh, Hindi. So I'm going to now copy this. I'm going to come back. I'm going to go to chat GPT. I'm going to simply say, translate this, nothing else. This is what I want to do. And it says, I can, okay, it just translated this. What language is this and translate this? Maybe, you know, chat GPT got a little super confident. It says, this is Malayalam, a language spoken in the Indian state of Kerala, translation of the text. I'm just saying something randomly. Why does it always rain in Bangalore? Is this very strange? Sometimes it's hot and sometimes it's cold, just like soup. I'm mind blown. If you're watching this video, let me know like if this is something that you are using. I it's quite common. Like it's very, very common in India to chat in um, in this this kind of a translation transliteration mode where you don't type necessarily in your own language, but you sound you type in English, but you sound with your own language. It's English, uh, Tamil plus English. It's it's a very common thing to know that these large language models, whether it is chat GPT or Google uh, Bard can transliterate this. Let me let me try this with Bard to be honest, like a trans translate this. Bard sometimes I think makes mistakes, but I wanted to just check. So translate this, I said it um, it is processing. Okay, it says it's a Malayalam and I'm trying to say something that is difficult to describe. Why is it still raining? Is this strange? It's sometimes a bit scary. If you had noticed one thing, um, honestly, what I feel is uh, this is what they're calling as a more literal translation. But what I felt is chat GPT is quite amazing. It's like literally literal. Bard is good. Like it, it actually gives you the context. And in fact, it gives you like these words mean, you know, what does it mean? This is quite brilliant because if you have to teach a language to somebody, it is quite easy for you to teach them through English. The fact that now I can um, learn these things, like learn these languages and um, learn it through English, through these large language models, it's completely unbelievable. But what, like as an AI engineer or a content creator and an educator, what surprises me is how is it possible? How does this work? I'm, I'm going to do more research to figure out how does it work. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. This is truly mind blowing. Just wanted to share a quick video. See you in another video. Happy prompting.